Hey, I'm Dr. David Jockers, and I'm here on the Mitochondrial Summit with Laura Frontero. And we talked all about mitochondrial health. We talked about mitophagy, where it's this amazing process where your body breaks down old, damaged mitochondria and renews them and creates new, young, healthy, stress-resilient mitochondria. So we talked about some of the best strategies for that. We talked about best foods, herbs, um, nutritional strategies, how to time out your your meals, right? And, and your nutrient timing uh, in order to get the best mitochondrial renewing effect. And so your mitochondria, the healthier your mitochondria are, the healthier your brain and your body are. And so you want to do everything you can to support your mitochondria. So you're going to love this summit. Can you tie in gut health for me? I, you started to talk about that. And I know we could go so many directions with this and um, you're just so full of information. Can you talk about why it's important that when you're uh, working on restoring mitochondrial health, that you also focus on gut health? What's the connection there? Gut health is so key because that's really where most people are it's kind of the root of where most people's inflammation is coming. And so not only do we absorb nutrients through our gut lining, but our gut lining itself, you know, is really where it's kind of, the, again, the, one of the main interfaces uh, between our immune system and our outside environment. So we eat food, it comes into our system, you know, gets into the intestines. The intestines are only one cell wall layer. And that's because they're built for optimal assimilation of nutrients, right? Our ancestors didn't have a whole lot of access to food. So when they ate, they needed to absorb as much nutrients as possible. Today, we have, uh, you know, uh, tons of food around us, right? Like we have so much food. I mean, in my house, I mean, I don't have to buy groceries for weeks if I didn't want to, because I got so much food available. So we could be eating all day long and our gut really was not designed for that. And so we are being exposed to so many different things as they're coming through there. And when the gut lining, the tight junctions are holding that one cell layer, when they start to become weak, right? And um, they start to break down, we call that leaky gut or intestinal permeability. And then proteins will seep into the digestive or into the bloodstream from the digestive system, and they will trigger inflammation in our body, right? And when we're triggering inflammation, because we have a lot of proteins, we have bacteria, we have fungal organisms, parasites, things like that, that are now getting into the bloodstream, it drives up inflammation throughout our body, right? And when we have higher levels of inflammation, that tells the mitochondria, okay, we need to slow down our energy production and we need to, we need to basically put on our shield, right? We need to create oxidative stress because we are in danger and it, it triggers something called a cell danger response. And we trigger this cell danger response whenever we have high levels of toxicity, high microbial load in the bloodstream, right? Um, so if we have food sensitivities or lots of bacteria, microorganisms in our bloodstream, um, if we're under a tremendous amount of stress, if we're not sleeping right, and we have circadian rhythm disruption, all those things are gonna trigger this cell danger response. And now the mitochondria are gonna stop producing efficient amounts of energy and they're gonna start producing a lot of oxidative stress. So they're gonna actually age and they're gonna turn up they're gonna accelerate the aging process of all the cells of our body. Now, this is a protective mechanism and it's healthy when it's done for a short period of time. And then the cell is able to go through a healing response. The problem, and, and that's that's normal. Like if you eat a meal, especially like if you have, you know, if you go out and eat at a restaurant in today's day and age, you're probably getting pesticides, herbicides, you know, you're probably getting some damaged vegetable fats, things like that. We all, we all do it from time to time, right? And so we develop some level of damage in our gut. We've got some proteins and bacteria seeping into our bloodstream. But, you know, if we're able to, let's say, go 14, 16, 18 hours fasting after that, we maybe we take some good uh, support supplements. We sleep really well that night. We keep our stress under control. Our body's able to go through a healing cycle and reset itself. Okay. And now the mitochondria are now producing energy the way that they should. We've kind of balanced things. We've triaged and we've gotten rid of these pathogens in our blood bloodstream. We've brought the toxicity levels down under threshold. We've brought our insulin levels down under threshold. We're back in a place where we can heal, repair, and function optimally. And that's, that is normal. It's normal physiology. All of us should be going through that. In fact, to some degree, that's actually healthy. We call it hormesis when we're exposed 
to small amounts of stress, it actually primes our body and we get, we get more resilient because of it. The problem is in our society, we are constantly doing this, right? We're eating foods every few hours that are damaging our gut lining, creating leaky gut, allowing pathogens to get in, allowing toxins to get into our bloodstream, triggering more inflammation. And every single time we do that, we're not allowing the cells to go through a full healing cycle. And so we're just triggering more and more and more and more inflammation. And the mitochondria get stuck in this hypometabolic pro-oxidative state. And now we're not able to produce the energy that we need. And over time, we develop you know, fatigue where we're just constantly tired. We constantly have brain fog. We have mood disorders. And we just can't seem to break the cycle because it becomes a vicious cycle that amplifies upon itself. And that's where the issue lies.